One night, Shalee Cromwell laid her head down to sleep and found herself in a strange place with otherworldly beings. And for two straight months, every time she slept, she returned to this dreamland. And each time she wrote down what she saw and what she heard. And that is how her first book, Nubia, took shape. What's happening, Sebastian? It's all right, Naira. I won't hurt you. I promise. It's opening your mind to what I've been telling you. Can you feel the warmth of my heart within you yet? I had to think for a minute on what I was actually feeling. Something warm, that's for sure. Was it really the warmth of his heart trying to tell me it's okay? Or was it some type of magic trick I was now trapped in? Well, that is a short excerpt from the novel Nubia. And uh, just two years after Nubia was published, um, Shalee Cromwell has already written a sequel. Shalee is with us now. Shalee, welcome to Main Street. Thank you for having me. Hey, so... Look, I have had ideas for books. Lots of people have ideas for books, but we don't get around to writing them. What was it about those dreams that motivated you and kept you motivated uh, long enough to get this story out? Well, one of the things that um, people really don't really know about me, um, I am a survivor of cancer for 10 years. Um, I had a brush with death um, and... I think it put in perspective the little things that we take for granted. And one of those things was the dream hmm. that I potentially thought was going to be nothing, which turned into what it is today. Um, and I couldn't be happier. So these are the things, you know, just little things in life that have inspired me um, with just my own trials and tribulations to write Nubia and to be able to dream them um, so vividly. And I say them, meaning each book, because now I'm ri I've, I've already written number two. That's actually done as of three days ago. Well, what was it about these dreams uh, that, that, you know, with the life circumstances notwithstanding, what was it about these dreams that have provided so much fodder? Um, well, I think the one thing that stands out with, with my uh, creation with Nubia is the fact that no one has ever come up with this concept before. Um, just the simple fact that them being the seeds of these Nubians, that they need to come here to impregnate us and take us back to the world because the world can't have children. That alone has never been talked about. So I thought, you know, what more could I give the, the world to read than this? This is, I think this is an amazing concept and story that I can't keep to myself anymore, and I want to share it with everyone else. And so uh, the, the dreams, the dreams that you talk about, now dreams can be, Shalee, they can be, uh, they're very personal. Often they can be very revealing. How, how does it feel to invite other people into this internal life of yours? At first, I was a little overwhelmed just because I wasn't sure of, you know, the feedback that I was going to get and, and who was going to accept, you know, that part of me. But in the end, I mean, I am who I am, and I can't change that, and I love who I am. So I embraced who I am, and I want to share that with the rest of the world, and I think that everyone should, regardless, you know, of who they are. I think everyone should embrace who they are and be proud of who they are and the things that, you know, they have within themselves, mine being the talents in writing that I never thought I had, and for it to be a romance, you know, I, I never get to share a romance with anyone else, I would never want to, but through writing, I can. And is this something, now you say this, this, this gift of writing that I didn't know I had, did, did the books also, were you not a writer before these dreams came to you? Did you learn to write, to write these dreams? I actually learned to write writing these dreams. Um, when I was 14 years old, I wrote, you know, a few poems, but nothing, you know, nothing to this degree until that night on my birthday. I, I dreamt this, this, this book, Nubia. I dreamt this on my birthday, April 15th of 09. I went to sleep. I woke up, and the next morning I was like, wow, this is amazing. So then I continued doing that for two months straight like i would wake up every morning and write down my dream and it, it resulted in nubia and now um when i received my first book i read the book and that night i went back to sleep and i had went back into part one of nubia the ending and i've been dreaming ever since and i dreamt that for two months and i just finished my second book where where are these where's this information coming from 
I have no idea. I just, I did a little bit of research, and um, I believe it's called a REM, a REM sleep. Yeah. It's where you go to your dream, um, and obviously something is taking me there. I'm, I'm going there every night, and I go there, and it's almost like she's frozen, and she's waiting for me, and then I enter her, and we get to see this journey, because I am not her. Right. But I actually see what I, I feel, and I see and everything that she does, but I'm not her. Has it been healing for you, this process? I'm sorry, what did you say? Has it been healing? Has it has it helped you? It has, um, because again, it, it showed a lot of growth. In, in my second book has showed a lot of growth since the first, you know, me being 29 when I first, when I wrote the first mm -hmm. one, and now I'm 40 writing the second. So there's a lot of um, personal growth within my own creation yeah. that, you know, I never thought that I would ever have. Do you think you have stories beyond these Nubia stories to write? I do, actually. I do. I've written a lot. I have a lot of writing, a lot of written books already. Well, Shalee, it has been, it's been fascinating uh, talking with you. I'll have to check out Nubia. I haven't read it yet, but I will check it out. You absolutely should. You can actually get it on Amazon chapter. Uh, I'm worldwide. I went worldwide two weeks after I was released. Um... Yeah, I really, I really hope that uh, you enjoy it, and I know the rest of the world will once they give it a chance. All right, and it's Nubia, N-E-W-B-I-A, so we can find that on Amazon. Yeah. All right, and Shelley. Chapters in to go. Okay, fantastic. It's been great speaking with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, take care, Shelley. Thank you. Bye bye. Shelley Cromwell is the author of the fantasy romance novel series, uh, Nubia. Second book is due to drop this year on or around uh, November 15th. And you can find her, as she said, her first book at uh, Chapters Indigo and on Amazon.